It's exactly 12 days to Christmas and I am so excited to bring you today's recipe. We are making spaghetti jollof or spag jollof if you want to call it that way. But before we head to the kitchen, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and join this amazing family. And if you're an old subscriber, thank you for stopping by once again. Now let's get started. For our spag jollof, we'll need, of course, spaghetti, some chopped onions, cooking oil, rosemary, turmeric powder, and salt. We will also need some tomatoes, onion, garlic, ginger, and papushito. I'll also be using some tomato puree, chopped carrots, and green bell pepper. And lastly, some cow liver. To begin, I'll blend my onion, garlic, and ginger. I'll be adding a little water to help with my blending. Then in a saucepan on fire, I'll add in my liver and half of my blended mixture with my turmeric powder and rosemary and some salt. I'll then go ahead and add a little water, give it a last mix and then cover and allow to cook till tender. So my liver is ready now. I'll go ahead and scoop out of the saucepan because I want to cook my spark jollof in this same saucepan. So I'll go ahead and add in my vegetable oil. In goes my onions. And I'll stir fry this for maybe about three minutes. By the end of this video, we'll be on control safe as spark jollof count Christmas menu in home. Now I'll go ahead and add in my tomato puree and then stir that also in till it's well incorporated with our onions. And then I'll let that also fry for about 3 minutes. Now I'll go ahead and add the rest of my onion, ginger and garlic blend. I'll stir this in and allow it to simmer for a bit while I move on to doing something else. The something else is blending my tomatoes and papushito. Once that is ready, it will go into our saucepan. I will stir that in also and cover and allow this to simmer for about five to seven minutes just to get the sour taste of the tomatoes out now our stew is a bit dried up so we are going to give it a stir and then we'll proceed and add in our other ingredients now my cooked liver is going back into my stew And then I'll add in my carrots and green bell pepper. Now the star of the shoe, my spaghetti, will also go in. So I'm breaking mine into shorter bits because I'm giving it to my toddler. But feel free to break your spaghetti anyhow you want it. So now I'm carefully trying to get the stew to cover some of our spaghetti. Then I'll go ahead and add in some water. Be careful with the quantity or else your spaghetti jollof will become too soft and not enjoyable. So realize I'm adding just a bit of cooking oil so that the spaghetti doesn't stick together when it's cooked. Now I'll cover and allow to cook. And let's say in about 5 minutes, I'll take the lid off and stir in my spaghetti so it doesn't burn. We yempe kanzubiya wasi. 
I'm carefully stirring to ensure that my spaghetti doesn't stick together and also to make sure that all my ingredients are well incorporated. Once I achieve that, I'll cover and allow to simmer for about two to three minutes and then my spaghetti jollof will be ready. And yeah, no, no. <laughs> like I said, make this nutritious addition to your toddler's menu and thank me later. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Do leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below so I know you are here with me. And until we meet again, try out this recipe for your little one and give me feedback as always. Till then, keep blooming.